Okay, this is a quick tutorial just on how to set up Ed42 and to get it running. Um, I'm not going to go into any detail in this tutorial about how to use Ed42, but this is just going to be the raw setup um, and make sure that Ed42 is able to access the files correctly. Um, so we'll get started. The first thing to do is to download Ed42, and you also need the Mod Development Toolkit. Um, you can get this on our website, uh, website which is bfmods.com. Head there. Um, there's a 1942 section, and in there is a modding tools uh, thread. If you just click on that and scroll down, it's these first top two tools that you need. Uh, so you need the mod development toolkit. So we're going to download that, and we'll just save that on the desktop. I've got a pretty temperamental web host, so sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's slow. And we will get editor 42, and we'll save that on the desktop as well. Now the first thing to do to set stuff up, or we'll close this window, you need to make a couple of folders, and these are going to be folders which are going to hold things like Ed42 and your Battlefield tools, but also another folder which is going to hold all of your uh, Battlefield um, development files, things like the objects, textures, uh, what have you. So we're going to make a new folder. It's easiest just to make this in the root drive of your C drive, or if you have a second drive, you can use that one. I'm going to put this on the second drive that I've got, but uh, either will work. Um, so, yeah, keep it just in the root of the drive, and we'll make a new folder called bfdev, and then we'll make another second folder called bftools. Um, the first thing to do at this stage is to go into your bfdev folder and we're going to make a new folder called 1942 no we're not, called bf1942 and then we're going to open that folder and we're going to make one more folder called levels um, so Just to confirm what you should now have, you've made a few new folders. There's one called BF Tools, which is empty. There's one called BF Dev, which has got another folder in called BF1942. And inside that, there's another folder called Levels. Get those set up to start with, and that's going to make life easy. Um, the next thing to do is to get Ed Editor42 extracted. So we're going to go into this BF Tools folder, and then we'll just extract straight to that directory. Um, you don't need to install it. As long as you've got those files extracted, they will run. So to make life easy, I'm going to right click and create a shortcut on the desktop. Um, that's it for editor 42 right now. What we're going to do next is install the mod development toolkit. Um, so we'll extract this to the desktop. And then you just Click on install. Something you'll notice in here, it'll probably just offer you the mod development tools. If you've got 3D Max installed, it will ask if you want to install the 3D Max toolkit. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we're not interested in that, so we'll just leave that for now. You, you probably won't see it there if you haven't, well, you won't see it there if you haven't got 3D Max installed. So we're just going to install the mod development tools and we'll stick it in the default directory. And when that's done, that's going to give us a shortcut on the desktop. Um, and now we need to extract all of the 1942 files that we need to start modding. So we launch the Battlefield Mod Development Toolkit. Uh, there's a number of tools in here. The one we want is WinRFA. So we launch that. 
we get file, open, and then we find our 1942 install directory. Uh, this is it by default. Um, so we go in there, mods, 1942 archives. And these are all the RFAs which contain all of the files we need. So the first one you want is objects.rfa. Just double click it, click on extract, extract all, uh, and then go to your BF dev folder. Just click on it once like that, and then click OK. That's going to extract all the objects. The next one we want is the standard mesh. There's actually two of these files. You need both of them. Um, when the game is patched, often there's a second file which is created in the patch. So we double click standard mesh, extract all, go back to that same folder, click OK. Uh, and then we'll do that second one, standard mesh 001, extract all. We just click on BF dev, we don't need to go any further, click OK. Uh, and then the last ones we need to get are the textures. And again, there's two of these texture RFAs. BF dev. Texture 001, extract all. Okay, and now we can close WinRFA. And we can also close the mod development toolkit window. Um, and so the last thing you need to do is just get Ed um, correctly set up so that it knows where to look for these files. And the easiest way to do that is just to launch Editor 42. And then you go File, Directories. And in here it's this base directory we're interested in. So you click on Browse. Um, and then you literally just click on BF Dev. You just want that top folder. You click OK. Once that's set, the levels, objects, meshes, textures, uh, don't worry about tools. But all of these will follow that base path above, which is this, and then they'll look for levels in here, objects here, standard mesh here, etc. So we click OK. Um, you need to close Ed42 this first time and then reopen it. It's now got the new directories in there. Um, and the quick way to test that this is working uh, is literally to click on this box, which is the object tool, and then click on the yellow box, which is creating static objects. If you can see anything in here, then you've got it set up correctly. Uh, if that's just a white box in there, then something went wrong. So, so go back and, and follow this tutorial again. I'm going to cancel out of this for now. I'm going to close Ed42. Um, I'll obviously be doing some tutorials on how to use Ed42, but that's the basics of getting it set up and working. Um, see you next time.